Suha says, my father loses his temper too quickly. And this is very often. I get mad at him for yelling for no reason. Am I sinful for this? How can I help him stay calm? And also, how can I control myself when he loses his temper? Suha, this is a serious issue. Your father is not one of your siblings. He's not one of your colleagues at work or a fellow, a fellow student at school. He is your father. So many evidences from the Quran and from the Sunnah that compels you to lower your wing and to show humility to him. The Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, the father is the middle gate of paradise. He says to the companion, preserve that gate or lose it. It's up to you. Meaning that you, Suha, will not be able to enter paradise except through pleasing your father, obeying him, being dutiful to him. Urwa ibn Zubair said, by Allah, he who looks his father straight in the eyes is not dutiful to him. This is an act of disobedience and disrespect. When your father is reprimanding you, yelling at you, talking to you, and you look him straight in the eyes, maybe express resentment on your face. All of this is un-Islamic. You have no justification, none whatsoever, in losing control or yelling at him or back answering him. All of this is haram. But he's abusive. He's rude. Even though it's your duty in Islam to obey and to be dutiful. If your father is a sweetheart and he's always sweet talking you and kind to you and gives you presents, anyone by default would be kind to this guy. The test is when he's not. This is your test from Allah Azza wa Jal. You can choose. Would you like breast cancer as a test? Would you like to be prosecuted for your religious commitment? Would you like to be like the Rohingya being raped and killed by the Buddhists? Would you like to be in the Mediterranean in ships trying to flee fighting in Syria or facing explosion, uh, uh, explosive battles thrown at you day and night, watching your children, watching your loved ones, watching your family being burnt alive? Would you like to be in a country that is struck by drought and famine, trying to look for half a glass of water to feed the children who are skin over bones, dying in front of your eyes, everybody has a test. Your test is your ab abusive father. There's no justification, none whatsoever for you to be disrespectful or to answer him back or to be rude or to look him straight in the eyes or to show any type of resentment whether through your facial expressions, whether you, through your responses to him, none whatsoever. So get your act together before it's too late.